Sim. Uh, my talk today about the acromioclavicular joint injury were aim for a simple introduction to the AC joint and the anatomical, briefly anatomical background and the new concept in regarding the anatomy, then the classification and I'm not going deep in the classification, tips and tricks in surgical tactics, then we open the discussion for this issue. The uh, AC joint carry a lot of controversy and we can call that this, this is the joint of controversy regarding the anatomy, controversy regarding the pathophysiology and the controversy regarding the treatment. As regards the anatomy, I'm not going so deep, but uh, uh, I'm stressing that the uh, acromioclavicular joint is stressed strained by ligaments, coracoclavicular ligaments, acromioclavicular ligament, and the capsule. The coracoclavicular ligament, as you all know, the trapezoid and the conoid, the trapezoid resists the postural superior movement of clavicle, this is one direction, and the conoid resists the superior movement of the clavicle. So combined effect of trapezoid and conoid will limit the superior and the posterior movement of the uh, clavicle. The acromioclavicular primary, primarily, it, it, it strained the horizontal movements of the acromioclavicular joint. Uh, most of the studies carried on the uh, uh, AC joint, carried on pathophysiologically, depend on sequential cut of the ligaments. They cut the, the ligaments, the chromoclavicular or the coracoclavicular in a sequential manner. And then they measure the stresses and the strains and so on. And all the studies stressed on the lateral coracoclavicular ligament, conoid and trapezoid ligaments. Nothing had been mentioned about what's called medial coracoclavicular ligament or what's called Caldani ligament, although it was discovered in 1802. And since that time, no one mentioned anything about this ligament, medial coracoclavicular ligament. What is the medial coracoclavicular ligament or Caldani ligament? It is described as a beerlessant yellow bundle, hand fan shape of fibers located at the infraclavicular space with its apex, as we see here, its apex is converging toward the coracoid and its axis, this is, the axis is, constitutes the body of the ligament. Uh, this ligament uh, takes a few studies and the most of these studies are contradictory. And many of these studies said that this is an organ having an imprecise function. ما كانش حد عارف ايه الفانكشن بتاعته. لكن طبعا باستخدام الام ار اي عرفنا قدرنا فروم ذا باي ميكانيكال بوينت اوف فيو ذا ستراكشر هيستولوجيك ستراكشر اوف ذيس ليجمنت از كو انسيدنت ويز اتس بايو ميكانيكال افكت. ازاي؟ ذا سنترال اريا اوف ذا ليجمنت the central area, a form of collagen fibers. And this give some sort of yielding of the ligament to be more uh, resilient. And there is a, a presence of cartridge at the end, at the coracoid end of the, the ligament. It's a small diameter compensated by torsion of its fiber at its middle because it is so small to increase its strength, it is twisted at its middle. So this will increase the tensile strength of the ligament. These features show an adaptation to compression and shear. And these are the forces to which the ligament is exposed. What is the function of this ligament? It is considered as the last restrainer of the coracoclavicular space in the absence of the lateral coracoclavicular ligament. Is there evidence? If we look to the first photo, here just the acromioclavicular capsule have been torn 
and the distance between the coracoid and the clavicle is 15 millimeter. Here we cut, we severed the lateral coracoclavicular ligament. The distance had increased to 42 millimeters. Here in this, in this photo, the medial coracoclavicular ligament or the caldean ligament had been severed. The distance had been increased up to 63 millimeter. So as we see, this ligament is very important in, in stra straining the coracoclavicular uh, uh, distance. And this will be shown in the next sessions, in the next uh, uh, slides. The, what about the clinical impact of this ligament? It is responsible for differentiation between type 3A, as we will discuss later, between type 3A and type 3B. These two types, according to Rokud, are called the water shaded water shaded uh, 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 types because they are so similar to each other. And the only difference is the injury to this ligament. Also involved, this involved in thoracic outlet syndrome, and it may be severed in type four and type five. Well, according to Rockwood classification, he emphasized that the main difference between type three and the type five, as we'll discuss later, that in addition to the muscle attachment, we could add the injury to the Caldani ligament. What about the clinical impact of this ligament? Possibly it hinder the subcoracoid circulation during, uh, during uh, making a circulation technique. This ligament may hinder your work. Also, it has a role in containing the coracoclavicular space in the absence of lateral coracoclavicular ligament. Regarding the classification of acromioclavicular joint, there are a lot of classifications, but the most, the most popular one is the Rockwood classification, who classify the acromioclavicular joint injuries into six types. Uh, uh, I'm not going too deep, type one, type two, type three, type four, type five, and type six. And these are the main differences regarding the AC ligament, the CC ligament, and delto trapezoidal fascia. And as we see, from type one to type three, most of uh, uh, AC ligament is completely torn, CC ligament completely torn. It is intact in type one and type two, but starting from type three, the AC, CC, delta trapezium fascia, and the CC distance markedly increased. This classification depends upon the coracoclavicular distance, but now, better to measure what is called the acromioclavicular instead of coracoclavicular distance to measure the acromioclavicular distance. What is the acromioclavicular distance? To measure the distance, the acromial, to measure the acromial dorsal surface center, the acromial center dorsal surface of the clavicle and use Alexander view to provide the clinician with a more realistic appreciation of the true AC joint displacement. You don't depend on the coracoclavicular distance here. No, we use what's called the ACDC, the ACDC distance. This is more realistic than the CCD or the coracoclavicular distance. From the practical point of view, we all know that a chromoclavicular joint subluxation uh, uh, injury makes subluxation or dislocation is present. But in addition to that, there is soft tissue swelling, particularly in type one and type two, only the swelling is present. We should calculate the degree of subluxation of clavicle, meaning in type two, the inferior border of the clavicle is not elevated beyond the superior border of the acromion. This can detect type two. In type three, the inferior border of the clavicle is elevated beyond the superior border of the acromion. In type four, there is marked superior elevation of the clavicle with the cracoclavicular distance more than twice the normal. This is 
these are practical points that can detect the amount of subluxation and dislocation of the AC joint. What about the decision making regarding the treatment? There are a lot of controversy. Why? Because there is no enough data about the preference of which type of treatment should be used, either the surgical or the conservative and, and in, in surgical issue, which one of surgical issue should be uh, utilized. There are a lot of uh, uh, researches about this subject. Many treatment modalities regarding the AC joint dislocation from the aggressive surgery, whether implanted or not implanted, to the non-surgical intervention. And the non-surgical intervention in some of these talks is stated that the objective examination and strength testing of the AC joint found there is no limitation of the shoulder motion, no limitation of shoulder motion, and also there is no difference between the sides in rotational shoulder muscle strains. The conservative treatment may take a chance unless the in young patient, in sport, in task requiring over shoulder activities, and in type 3B. All these cases are treated surgical. Rockwood stated that the real indication for surgery, according to his recommendation, should be directed to the age, the patient expectation, and according to the, the sport activities. Basmania classification is another classification which does not depend on the distances, but it relies on whether the distal end of the clavicle is stable or unstable. He stated that if it is the distal end is more than 50 to 75% displacement on the static film, or it is more than 100% displacement, on the cross arm AP view, AP view with the arm in abduction, this means that there is disruption, complete disruption of the AC and CC ligament. Clinically, significant prominence of the distal end of the clavicle when the arm in abduction. When to do surgery? I mean, should you do surgery now or should you, 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 you postpone the surgery? This also carry a lot of controversy to do it acutely or chronic. But the easiness of surgical interventions and the better the result with surgery makes the surgeon more aggressive to interfere early and more and more repair uh, uh, intervening. And the, now they prefer repair on reconstruction in spite of the reconstruction restore the anatomy, biomechanics and the function, but a lot of uh, uh, researchers talk about the repair of the AC of the uh, chromoclavicular joint. Why? Because it has high constant score. It uh, reduce the uh, dislocation subluxation anatomically, less complication and the more patient satisfaction. But what is meant by early? Early reconstruction is more effective. What is early? I, we mean by early that the, during the first two weeks. And this in uh, this paper, as you said, the early reconstruction of AC joint in type 3 and the type 4 avoid the inferior clinical results of delayed reconstruction using whatever the technique, but he, he insisted that the early reconstruction of the AC joint in type 7 are in, uh, the, uh, 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 avoid the inferior clinical results of delayed reconstruction. What about should we resect the, this is a technique to resect the distal end of the clavicle. At one time it was uh, uh, a routine, but it carry a lot of technical errors, scar complications and ossifications. To repair or not the coracoclavicular ligament, this is an issue also of debate. A comprehensive repair or reconstruction of the coracoclavicular ligament should be considered to restore the kinematics of the AC joint. It has a mechanical function, 
it has a proprioceptive function and it adds to the stability of the joint. So failure to protect the supporting structure during surgery or to neglect of preoperatively damaged ligament can lead to postoperative failure in procedure addressing the AC joint. So repairing the coracoclavicular ligament is mandatory. You should search for it and you should repair it. You should look for it and you should repair. And there are a lot of research asking about, does this ligament heal? Yes, it heals. How do you know? Actually, it heals, and the evidence from the MRI, this is a, a, a repair, and after six weeks, we see that the ligament has been restored. Regarding the implant, in, in case of implanted uh, 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 surgeries, the non-absorbable material has a lot of complications, may be broken as Boswell screw, in, in, and it is uh, the the hooked blade. It is not wise to be used in acute cases. Also, uh, may be subjected to infection, osteolysis, and it needs another operation to be removed. So, it is used in specific cases of reconstruction. What about the tight rope? First, it is inexpensive. The learning curve is high, learning curve is high. Not only that, it is not an adequate procedure to be to stabilize the AC joint because it does not repair the acromioclavicular ligament, the coracoclavicular ligament, or contribute to the anteroposterior stability. And in this paper, we said that the tight rope alone is not adequate to stabilize the acromioclavicular joint as it does not address the acromioclavicular ligament and the instability at the anteroposterior plane. Also, it is responsible for more than 50% of the male results. The transosseous suture is another uh, issue to be considered, but early failure of, by the, this transcoracoid single clavicular tunnel technique is not reliable to approach the CC ligament reconstruction. Leatherman in 2013, comparing three techniques of reconstruction and compared with the normal anatomy, the circulage, the tight rope, and the clavicular plate. From the biomechanical point of view, biomechanical performance of circulage and tight rope are similar. Circulage give more physiologic stabilization than any other form of fixation. To do surgery open or arthroscopically, also it is a matter of controversy and it is a matter of debate. Open and arthroscopic repair of the acromioclavicular joint dislocation yield good clinical results. Both of them yield clinical results, but it needs an, a, a, an expert surgeon and it is expensive and needs a longer uh, uh, curve of leaning. This is a multi-center study, 116 cases in one year. 48 cases had persistent dislocation, 22% of complication. Uh, loss of reduction in 33 cases, 33%, and other technical complication in 190 cases, and totally 44% of complications. So we can say that to do it arthroscopically, you should mastering the technique of arthroscopy and you should mastering the technique of open surgery. Take home message, AC joint dislocation should be fully estimated and early treatment should be considered, age, occupation and expectation of patient should be considered and repair of CC ligament in the acute cases is very, very, very crucial. And the use of absorbable suture instead of metal when the metallic implant should be considered. And to do it open or, or arthroscopically, the best technique is the technique you master. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor Mohammed Abdelal, for this very important talk about a very important subject. Thank you so much, sir. Kareem, I have uh, شكرا يا دكتور محمد uh, يعني uh, topic of controversy زي ما حضرتك سميته this is a joint uh, of controversy هي اسمها كده هي اسمها كده تمام يا فندم اليتيمة السؤال الأولاني حضرتك يعني دايما 
الجريد اللي بيبقى قليل ديبيت اكتر اللي هو تايب 3 3 آه. حضرتك طبعا زي ما وضحت يعني التقسيمه الجديده دلوقتي اللي هو تايب 3 طيب اي و3 بي وده وده بيعتمد مين اللي على البسمانيا فيو زي ما حضرتك برضو وضحت تمام آه سؤال بس اللي انا يعني آه يعني البسمانيا فيو احنا يمكن علينا مش واخد عليه قوي فيعني حضرتك آه. كنت حاضر اعرض على اقرب السلايد ايه اللي انا بشوفه في البسمانيا فيو يقول لي ان ده تايب 3 بي اللي هو محتاج ان انا اوبريت آه فبس دي لو حضرتك توضحها لنا سريعا اه التايب 3 اي اند بي او الديفرنشيشن بينهم طبعا بقى مع مع ظهور السي تي بقى اسهل 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 شويه لكن افرض انت ما عندكش الفاسيلتي ديت بتصور العيان اللي هو بيسموه الكسندر فيو وهو فولي ادكتد الارم فولي ادكتد وبتاخد انتر بوستيريور انتر بوستيريور 45 درجه انتر بوستيريور فيو والبيشنت 45 درجه بتشوف كميه قد ايه الديسبليسمنت اوف ذا اكروميوم اند كميه الديسبليسمنت قد ايه وبتقسم على قد المقياس ده لو هي اكثر من 50% من المسافه الاساسيه لو اكثر من 50% يبقى ده تايب 3 بي لو هي اقل من 50% فتبقى دي 3A تمام والفرق ما بين الاثنين على فكره بعد كده اللي اتوضح بعد كده ان الفرق ما بين الاثنين هو الانجري بتاعت الميديا الكوراكو كلافيكولر اللي كان قبل كده ما كانش عارف حدش عارف مظبوط آه سببه ايه طلع ان هو ده وعشان كده بنقول وانت بتعمل الريبير بتاع الاي سي جوينت دور على الكوراكو كلافيكولا الميديا الاولى ممكن يبقى تبقى الدنيا امالجاميتد ومش بقى لكن تحاول تدور عليهم حضرتك عرضت لنا ميثودز كتيره في في المانجمنت بوني وسوفت بس انا حابب بس حضرتك البريفيرد ميثود اللي حضرتك بتبريفير ان انت تعملها خاصة خاصة في حالات الريكونستراكشن يعني في الحالات اللي اكيوت حضرتك اوصيت بالبريفير اللي انا بعمله اه في الحالات اللي يعني الاولد او الحالات اللي, اللي هي يعني اللي اكتر من من اسبوعين ثلاثه بقى ليها خلاص يعني ادمت شويه والريفير لوحده ممكن يبقى صعب او مش كفايه فكميثود اوف ريكونستراكشن حضرتك يعني بتبريفير حاجه معينه ولا ولا حضرتك كانت بتمشي ازاي في الحالات دي؟ طبعا انا كنت من الاول كنت بستخدم الطرق اللي هي كل اللي اتعلمناها على ايد اساتذتنا يعني انما دلوقتي انا انا وزميلي اخويا استاذ الدكتور سعيد كريم استاذ في جامعه الازهر بنعمل دلوقتي بيولوجيكال ريكونستراكشن للسي سي ليجمنت باستخدام الكونجوينت تندون بس مش بنعمل له كومبليت سيفرنج لا احنا بنعمل تكنيك ان احنا بناخد اللاترال هاف بتاع الكونجوينت تندون وبنلفه وبنعمل له ريلوكيشن في الكلافيكال بتو هولز كانه السي سي ليجمنت وبيبقى اوجمنتد بيه ان انا بحط وايرز في الاي سي جوينت لمده ثلاث اسابيع وبعد كده بشيله ثاني وبكتفي فالريكونستراكشن اوف ذا سي سي ليجمنت بالكونجوينت تندون واحيانا بنعمل له اوجمنتيشن ب واحد من الهامسترنج لما يكون قصير قوي بعمل له اوجمنتيشن بالهامسترنج هو ده التكنيك اللي انا بقيت بستخدمه دلوقتي الاول كنت بستخدم الهامسترنج لوحدها دلوقتي بستخدم الهامسترنج والكونجوينت تندو طب انا مش فاكر قريب باذنك وحضرتك حضرتك مش بتخاف شويه من الماسكول كوتينيس الماسكول كوتينيس <تصفيق> طبعا بنخاف بس ما انت عندك ال واحنا بنعمل لترجيم احنا عندنا برضه ماسكل كوتينيس يعني لما بتمستر التكنيك بتبقى المساله يعني معقوله حضرتك بتريكونستراكت السي سي السي سي ليجمنت بس ولا الاي سي كمان معايا يعني لا هو السي سي ده اساسا ده اساسا ريكونستراكت الاي سي بقى بحاول ادور عليه علشان لو لو ايدج ايدج علشان مش علشان الاستابيليتي لا علشان البروبر ريسبشن المشكله انه في العيانين دولت انه البروبر ريسبشن مهم جدا للجوينت المظلومه ديت انه لو هو ما فيش اي ريجين للبروبر ريسبشن ممكن تخلع من غير ما ياخد باله فمهم قوي قوي ان انا ادور على 
الاسي واحاول ان انا اعمل له ريبير مش علشان الاستابيليتي لكن علشان البروبر ريسبشن طب وفي الحالات الكرونيك حضرتك بتريكونستراكت يعني لو خلاص ما بقاش في فرصه اه لا كله كله بيعمل ريكونستراكشن للسي سي والاي سي كمان ولا السي سي بس؟ لا السي سي اساسا يعني حاجه معدي عليها ست شهور في الغالب مش هتشوفه مش هيبقى موجود اساسا يعني تمام يا فندم آه في سؤال من الدكتور وائل طبعا. ابو زيد وين جريد اوف روكو كلاسيفيكيشن شود بي كونسيدرد سيرجيكال ريبير ان يونج بيشنتس And in adults, and uh, which type of repair? Uh, what grade? Uh, grade? What grade of record classification? Yeah, he's asking grade of the record. Uh, uh, to be operated for the young or for the adult. He was, of course, a وثلاثة ده لما بعد كده بقى جم قسموا ثلاثة A وثلاثة B وثلاثة A ده بيعتبر بيعتبروه what's called water shaded اللي هو على الحرق على الحروق ركي يعني بالبلدي دول يم بعضهم يمشي conservative وبعضهم يمشي operative depending على the age depending على the expectation of the patient depending على the the occupation تاعهم فأربعة وخمسة surgery واحد واثنين conservative for unless إذا كان ده أسينيت وبيستخدم بقى إيده ده دخل سيرجيكال إنما ثلاثة هو اللي عليه الديبيت بس حضرتك في الريكونستراكشن دايما بتمشي في سكة الجرافتنج يعني بتاخد تندر جرافت زي ما حضرتك قلت سواء بالتكنيك اللي حضرتك قلت عنه بتاع الكونجوينت أو الهامسترنج لكن قصة إن إحنا مثلا نعتمد على النايلون تيب مع مع مثلا اللي هي زي ما عرضتهم كده الكريم اه دي الميتاليك الميتاليك بتعمل ريزوبشن حوالين البون زيها زي زي, زي الاوستيروس اللي بيحصل في الارسو بلاستي النان ميتاليك الرياكشنز اللي حواليها والمشكله السكار بتاعها بتفاير فعلا حضرتك تمام يا دكتور محمد انا دكتور شهاب احنا كده السيره المعيده لو في حاجه حضرتك هتضيفها مع دكتور محمد عبد العالي ومشاكرين جدا يا دكتور محمد على المحاضره الجميله وعلى الحديث يا حبيبي ربنا يخليك ميرسي شكرا شكرا على حضرتك واسئلتك الجميله يا رب يبارك في حضرتك مشاكرين جدا ربنا يزيد حضرتك علما يا رب اتفضل يا دكتور محمد والنهارده كمان شرفنا في حضرتك يا دكتور محمد بيه عيش يا دكتور محمد احنا بقينا مدمنين مدمنين بنها اونلاين كورس ريفيو مدمنين انا عايزين نتعالج بقى من الادمان ده يا ريس ما هو هنعالج حضرتك بقى ان احنا مستنيين حاله حضرتك الاسبوع الجاي بالكريم ربنا يخليك دكتور محمد يعني يعني ان شاء الله كده ربنا يعني يجعله في ميزان حسناتك كل اللي اتقال وكل اللي هيتقال والتشجيع اللي حضرتك بتعمله لكل الناس تسلم 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 يا استاذ بتواجد سعادتك معانا يا فندم الاول احنا يوم الجمعه الجايه انا طبعا بنتهز الفرصه ان انا اهني حضراتكم بشهر رمضان المعظم يعني شهر رمضان احنا جميعا وعلى الامه العربيه والاسلاميه يا رب كل, كل سنه وسيادتكم كلكم بكل خير وصحه وسعاده ورمضان